Good afternoon, Clover School District. We are finishing up our second week of school, and as this week comes to a close, we want to introduce you to a new segment that we will begin today and bring to you each week called Friday Facts. Every Friday, in order to be fully transparent with parents and students, we will share details with you about where Clover School District is based on our student and staff COVID-19 numbers, as well as any other important and timely information that you need to be aware of. With regard to our current numbers, we, write, we currently have 89 students across the district who are out of school due to a positive COVID-19 test. We have 157 students who are isolating with symptoms and 439 students who are out of school quarantining due to being a close contact with a positive individual, either at home, at school, or in the community. With staff, we have 13 staff members who have tested positive, and we have 10 staff members who are out with symptoms or quarantining due to close contact. To put these numbers in perspective, they represent about 7.6% of our district, and they are trending back to where our district was in December of 2020. On a positive note, we are not finding, at least in these first two weeks of school, that large numbers of our quarantine students are becoming positive with COVID-19. The biggest concerns we are hearing from parents and students is that they do not want to be out of school and that the long quarantine periods are disruptive. South Carolina DHEC sets the public health guidelines that school districts must follow during a pandemic and with other routine communicable viruses such as the flu. We are required to implement those guidelines, both for liability purposes and for the overall safety and welfare of our students and staff. And as for timely and critical information that I need to share with you this week, Clover School District got word on Thursday, August 26, about the enforcement of masks on public transportation issued by the federal government. The State Department of Education has now reinstated the requirement for South Carolina students on the bus to wear a mask while riding the bus. Students may provide their own mask. Otherwise, on Monday, August 30th, the district will provide masks for students as they board. In keeping with the law, CSD will not deny any student transportation to or from school. Additionally, South Carolina DHEC also revised its guidelines regarding close contacts and quarantines. A student who is within three to six feet of a positive student will not have to quarantine if the exposed and the sick student were both wearing a mask at the time of exposure. Now this change will actually be helpful on our buses since all students will be required to wear a mask on the bus and this may help us from having to quarantine so many children and thereby we can keep more children in school. Parents, you've been very concerned about this extended quarantine so we wanted you to be aware of this new guideline. And while masks are still optional inside our school facilities per state law, this change may also be helpful within school close contacts if masks are utilized. We have begun to implement some of our level two strategies in key areas across our district as we try to navigate this period of higher spread due to the Delta variant. For example, we have moved to our new school schedule, which we started this week to provide space on the bus. We now will have masks on the bus. We are still remaining at 50% capacity in our cafeterias, and we've moved to a tighter family model at recess, so students are only playing with their classmates at the elementary level. In closing for this week, we know that many of our families will be out tonight at Memorial Stadium to cheer on the Blue Eagles varsity football team as we host Myers Park. Our swimmers were in action last night, as was our JV football team as well. We know that these are school events and they're full of fun. And since they are school facilities, masks remain an option even at these outdoor venues. We encourage you to do those things that you know are important to you to keep you safe and healthy while attending our extracurricular activities. Have a great weekend and go Blue Eagles.